going on everybody Friday afternoon um, just out in the garage today got my beverage first drink in over in a week I guess since last Friday when I had my surgery everything's going good um, my eyes are a little bit red still as you can see uh, they're a little bit stingy and watery but getting better my vision is pretty good I'm pretty happy with that so figured I'd come out in the garage, start a video. So we're not gonna be working on the T-top car today because most of it's body work and sanding and stuff underneath the car. So, and I still can't get stuff in my eyes. So what we're gonna be doing today is um, a mass air conversion on a harness. I got two harnesses here. Um, so we're gonna do a mass air conversion on an 88 harness, a non-mass air car. Um, and because my friend put a cam in his 88 and it's non-mass air and sorry and it's having drivability issues and running issues and stuff like that which B cams are made for mass air purposes like applications so that's what we're doing so he managed to get a computer and a 91 harness so there is some differences between the two harnesses which we will go over uh, but we're going to make two harnesses into one, right? So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, guys? All right, guys. So you can see here I have the two harnesses. This is the 88 harness. And this is the 91 harness. So you can see here there's a ground. There's a connector. There is this connector and this green connector. And then on the 91, you have the computer connector, the green connector, and then this connector is different. And this ground which is broken on the one size so we have a relay here on this one halfway up the harness right here it's in a different spot where this one doesn't have it okay then when we get down here you get all your smog stuff which is these ones and this one also has the smog stuff okay on this one this is the part that comes out to your AC relay and your O2 sensor. And then on this one, you have your AC relay, your O2 sensor, your mass air, and then these two other white connectors, which I can't remember what are for right now. Um, then you got your connectors for your salt and pepper shakers. On both or which are the same. Then you have your um, connector for your uh, map sensor map sensor same and then you come down here you have your distributor stuff and then you have your other distributor stuff here and then the other noticeable difference is on the 87 and 88 harnesses the non-mass air they have these two connectors okay that connect to the body harness for the inside of the car and on the 91 there's only one of them Okay, this purpose is because the fuel relay, the fuel pump relay on like 89, I think 90 back to 86 was under the driver's seat. Um, on the 91 cars and the 92, 93s, they relocated that relay to the inner fender well. Um, the year, I could be missing up a little bit on the ears, but um, that's kind of why there's only one connector here. Um, and then when you go down, you have the rest of your stuff for your um, your coil pack and the stuff that goes to the coils on the fender wells, which is the same on this one, right? So um, those are the differences of between the two. So because we can't use this 91 harness on the 88, we're gonna remove the mass air harness from the 91 harness. And then we're gonna move pins around in the connectors to make it work with the A9L computer. So that's what we're doing today. Well, I started peeling the harnesses apart, taking off all the loom and stuff. So as you're cutting into these, just make sure you don't cut too deep because you don't wanna be cutting any of the wires. Like I said, we're not gonna be using any other, the other part of this harness, but we don't wanna damage the mass air harness, which we're gonna be keeping. So we're gonna take all the wires all the way down to this connector. We're gonna pop the pins so we can put them in that other computer connector um, and then we'll go over where pins have to be moved and everything to make 
the 87 harness work with the mass air okay um, there's also um, on lmr's website late model restoration they have a video that covers it as well if you think my video sucks you can just check out their video okay <laughs> i wish i had somewhere to sit so anyways so what we're gonna do because i got it all stripped out you can see it's all stripped out so what we have to do is we have to pop the red um this red little connector holder I don't even know what you call it, but we gotta pop that out of there. We're gonna need like a good pick or something to kind of get it up and out. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this blue wire out first. So we're gonna have to uh, go down, try to release this one connector. All right, here's a smaller pick. So what we wanna do is we wanna get in there and then pop the clip back to be able to pull this connector out. So what we'll do is, I don't wanna be spilling any beverages, Jesus. So what we're gonna do is, on the mass harness, we're gonna pull the blue one out. Okay, so now we have the blue wire out of there. So now we're gonna work on the next one, which is this brown and blue. And it's right here, second connector in right there so we're gonna take the pick in there again we can show you guys pick in keep popping out pick in and then pull it out and then what we're gonna do is pull it out so there's the next one out okay then we gotta do oh, where's that ground so this ground one as you can see it's pretty big um, it's connected to three other wires for the, the relay and things like that. We're actually going to cut that and then we're going to keep um, just this connected. I'm not going to change any of this stuff, okay? So we can uh, not have to mess with it because I don't want to have to re-solder stuff and we're not reusing this harness. So we'll just cut these here and then we'll keep this, okay? So that's what I'm going to do next, but we'll pop this connector out which is this first one right here so like that and there we go so that's out we'll get some cutters and we'll cut this and then we'll get to the red one and we'll show you that i had this sit down my back is starting to hurt so what we're gonna do next is like i said so the blacks if you can see it here the black with the white lines we're gonna cut those because we don't need those we're just gonna cut those out Okay, then we're gonna pull this black one out. So now we have three of the four wires out, okay? For this mass air harness, which actually has a conversion connector on it. So sometimes you have a, a six pin mass air and sometimes there's a factory four pin. So this is an ad adapter. Um, and I, I think he has a stock one, so this one will be gone okay um so now if you look here this red one goes into this mumbo jumbo right here so i'm gonna have to get this stuff off it's actually really rubbery and cakey so i gotta work on that and then i'm pretty sure it's gonna be one of these two right here i'm pretty sure it's this red one here but um we'll make sure once we get it uh, out so i'm just gonna clean up get this rest of this sticky stuff off holding it together the tape and then we should have it out fully and then we'll start getting onto that harness um i'm not going to be pulling none of the wire loom off this harness or anything we're just going to run this one on the outside as much as we can i might tuck it into part of the harness but i'm not going to take that harness right apart one thing about these stock these original harnesses and stuff like that is they're old they get brittle so if you move them around too much sometimes things happen break internally and things like that so you don't want to mess with it too much if you don't have to okay where this one we ain't using it again you know if somebody needs a piece off at a connector or something it might be useful but we're probably going to toss it in the garbage so yeah so like i said i'll get this ready we'll get this other pin out and then we'll start working we'll toss this away and we'll get working on this other harness okay so we got the harness out we're gonna set that over here we're gonna take this harness and toss it over there 
clean up a little bit. And uh, we're gonna slide this harness over here. And start getting ready to put this harness in with this one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to line it up the best we can. So it goes down to the connectors. Oh yeah, that's kind of beauty bud. Okay, so I think we're gonna be good. Always leave a little bit extra hanging off. Okay, just so you know you have more than you need. And uh, then we'll start pulling these uh, pins out. Okay, once I get some of this uh, old tape off and stuff, okay? I have the cover off. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this red wire in pin 57. I don't know, you probably can't see it, but we're gonna cut this red wire and then we're gonna connect the red wire from the harness to this wire, okay? So that's the first step. So I'm gonna do that and then we will be back. All right, guys. So we moved inside because it's a little, a little hot outside today. So, um, and it's bright. So what we're doing here is um, I'm just trying to organize the mass air part of the harness. Um, I did cut the red one in between. So what we're gonna do, instead of splicing, well, I did splice it, but you have to splice that red wire and then connect this one to that wire. But I'm actually gonna put the pin in. So we got it connected farther up. I'm gonna heat shrink it, whatever, and then plug this connector right into that harness instead of just splicing in. But you do have to splice it in. I'll get it over here. So, like I said, connector 57 in the harness. You have to cut that wire, connect the red wire from the mass air harness to this wire. So instead of me doing that, I'm gonna pop the pin and just insert it right in and because I've already connected it here, because I had to cut it because it was spliced in to other things, right? So that's what I'm doing right now, okay? So let's... Uh, Pop it out, looks like it's the fourth one in. So it'll be this dog. And I apologize for the quality of the video. It's my first day back. Um, I'm feeling better, but you know, I might be missing stuff or saying things wrong. Um, so I apologize for that. Maybe I should have waited, but I wanna try to get back into hitting up the videos as much fast as I can, you know what I mean? Just so I can get back into the routine. So what we're gonna do here is, we're actually gonna just melt this. I lost my other little torch for doing this, but always, guys, you can use the regular connectors, but it's always nice to use the heat shrink stuff. Um, best is obviously soldering the wires together but sometimes you just don't have that option. Just give it a good tug, make sure that you got no issues, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this wire and we're gonna just pop it in the hole. There it is. Make sure it's in all the way, guys. Give it a good tug. So that red one is in, okay? So now we're gonna get ready the next wire okay so just give me one second and i'll set up uh, what i did was i put the new connector in it i actually took the old connector out uh, because i had this harness already had the connector on it we still have to splice in the original red wire from the harness so we're going to do that right now so i'm going to splice it in i'm going to have to cut it i know it's kind of doing the same thing but we're going to cut it put a connector twist the the two together and then go from there. You can probably peel this back, just the, the insulation, and then solder it right to it if you want to. Um, we're gonna cut it. I got some connectors. We'll heat shrink them, and then it'll be good to go. And then we'll move on to the next wire, okay? So let me grab my cutter. So 
just kind of cut it right where it's kind of near. Hopefully you guys can see this. Let's angle it more this way. Okay, so we're, uh, my wire strippers here aren't the greatest, but we'll try. Okay, we'll do this. This is, we're gonna put these two wires, these two red wires, we're gonna twist them together. Okay, like so. And then we're gonna put the butt connector on it. Make sure you get it in there good, guys, because if you don't, you're gonna have problems. So, and the last thing you want is problems, you know what I mean? So, we're gonna get this in here. Good, good connection, then we're gonna this we'll get this side in all right guys let's do this one <clears throat> okay so you can see connected get the lighter back out I gotta find my little torchy because it's uh sweet better than this little Vic goodness but so just make sure you get it all nice so you don't have any problems later on okay there's number one done so next we want to go to the black wire at pin 40 um, you can use the 61 as well or the 40 we're gonna use the 40 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna splice a black wire from the harness to this one um, if we don't have to link up this other one we will just put the pin in if we do then we'll just splice and connect like we did with the red one right very simple okay so we're gonna strip all the wires because we are reusing everything here so strip this black one back strip this one back all right, and then we're gonna try, I guess it doesn't matter where we take this from. So we're gonna cut this off. We're gonna strip it. Okay, then we're gonna connect it to this black wire together. So we're gonna put these two together, guys, just like we did with the red one. Trim her down a smidge. Don't need too much on it. Okay. All right. Take our new connectors. Make sure you get it in there good, guys. Then we're going to crimp it. Test for durability. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna get this side in. <sighs> okay, guys, that's good. And then use the lighter to shrink the, the ends and then we'll move on to the next wire, okay? What we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this tan wire right here and it's gonna go into uh, number nine on the harness or on the connector, which is, you're not gonna be able to see it, but it's that one beside the pink one. So we're gonna insert this connector into here. Try to, sorry guys, we're gonna try to get her in whilst we're talking. So slowly going in. You wanna make sure it locks in. Looks good. Looks like it's locked in there. Give you a nice peek. I can get my finger in there. So 
right there. It is locked in, good to go. So that is the next one. And then blue, we will get hooked up. Actually, I'm gonna take this blue wire here and we're gonna put it into the empty terminal right here, which is terminal number 50. Okay, so I'm just gonna slide that in there. get that locked in so that is locked in then we're gonna go to find this white wire with the pink or red tracer which is slot 51 we're gonna pull that out white wire with the red or pink tracer is gonna go into empty slot number 38 so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna feed it over through here a little bit nicer sorry about the camera work guys it's just it's hard when we're doing two things at once let me see if I can just Maybe set you up here. Okay, so we're gonna take it and slide it in this slot right there. And then that one's been really relocated as well. So that's kind of how far we are. Now we're gonna move on to the next green wire here, right here with the black tracer and pin number 11. Okay, we're gonna pull that out. If we can get it out. All right. I hate wiring. And my thumb sucks. Sorry, guys. So we're going to take this wire. There we go. That's better. I should prepare more. So we're going to pull that wire out. Green wire out of the 11 connector spot. It's going to move and you're going to relocate it the pin spot I don't know if you'll be able to see it there but pin spot oh, number 32 that empty spot right there so you're gonna pop that in there and then bam you're pretty much good to go on that side so now we start cleaning up the harness so let's do this so once you've done that stuff guys um put the plastic retainer back in then we can get all the wires together okay set you up here we get all the wires together best we can right try to make it nice we'll pop this back on to its home because we want it to be nice nice you know what i mean nice nice there we go oh this side's not working out really well you know what I mean, jelly beans? There we go. All right, so there's that, okay? So that is complete, done. Also guys, just for forewarning, before you connect everything and you do connectors, I missed the thing. Make sure you put a hole in this and then slide your harness through it first, the grommet. <laughs> hey man. We just fly in here, right? So I was more focused on that stuff than that, than that, obviously. So um, I gotta make it so it goes through there. Not a big ordeal. Um, so I will fix that and then um, we will continue on. We'll get it routed so it's nice. And then we'll have a perfectly good harness um, for my buddy Ray to pop back in his car and then we can get it running. Um, maybe I should have waited a few more days before I started doing a video. But hey, it is what it is. Okay guys, so I have it back together. So it's all taped up here. Nice and beautiful. Connector is back. This is what it's supposed to be. I've taped it all up nice here. This doesn't need to be perfect because it's not wrapped nicely. Like that's kind of emulating factory. It's ran through the grommet. Um, I have it taped up all into here and when you come down to here you have your mass air harness coming out the end and that's how you convert the 88 87 harnesses to mass air um, we are going with an a9l computer so um if you have a manual it's a9l um if it's automatic i think it's an a9p i think don't quote me on it, um, but we'll put this in. He has the mass air meter, and then it should just be plug and play. It's obviously easier 
with the harness out of the car so if you guys want to take the time to pull it out it's not super hard um, but it can be done in the car and like I said if my video is too shitty for you you can always check out LMR's uh, video um, there's probably a bunch of other videos out there as well like I said this is just my first video back from um, my surgery and I figured I told my buddy I'd do this for him you know so he can get it running this weekend and uh, figured I'd do a video on it so hopefully you guys like it um, but we're back and uh, hopefully we can make some more progress on this and like I said we got the termi swap Cobra coming uh, in the next week or so um, and we're still doing the coyote notch plus we might have another project coming which it's a pretty nice car that will be for sale guys so we'll keep you updated on that um, thanks for sticking around and uh, yeah, I will catch you on the next one.